games which are I think poor balance is not necessarily a case of uh, you know having some of the characters who are perceived to be much better than others it's a it's, it's a matter of at the top level is this game fun to watch is it fun to play I think you know Chun Li is exactly the, the you know she's the the big example of this. She completely murdered Third Strike because she was she was awful. She was awful to watch. She was awful to play. She was just like she was just dire. It was just three things over and over and over again. And like it wasn't the fact that she, it wasn't just the fact that she was dominant. It was the fact that she was she was horribly boring. Characters like. Mishima's versus Ogres, for example, in Tekken Tag 2, but it's a very, un it's a, you know, it's quite, it's a very unbalanced game by modern standards. Absolutely, hugely unbalanced. But those Tekken characters... Tag 1, you mean? Yeah, Tekken Tag 1. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, like, but those characters and that matchup is very, very deep. There's a lot to it in terms of, you know, Ogre, uh, Ogre Arkizame, like, and Mishima Waves Ash, you know, and, and they're, they're very expressive characters to play against one another. It's a very, it's a very deep match. Um, but you know, Tekken Six, we saw things like Bob mirrors, and these were insanely ugly to watch. And they were not; it was not a difficult thing to. It wasn't difficult to play that character at all because you just did chop or jab, and the thing, the matchup became a mix-up between down one and jab, and then whiff punishing things. Like, so I think the question when people look at it, they shouldn't necessarily just be going like, "Oh, this character is low on the list. Put them up." This character, like, is you know, we like this character. Put them up. They should be thinking. What are really the fun ways to play this character? We need to bring out the fun ways to play them. Like, bring out the, the opportunities for self-expression. Don't don't take them away either on the defensive or the offensive end. Like, make sure totally that agree. when people look at stuff, it isn't just someone getting run over by jabs and down forward once. Like, there should yes. be people want to see Lei. They want to see Xiao Yu. They want to see like, they want to see Mishimas. They want to see Brian. They want to see like, there's a lot yeah. of characters that have jabs and down forward ones and whiff punishment and so on and and you know there's self-expression found in them as well but like people want to see uh and play you know mm. in a whole variety of different ways and they just need to think of the ways that open that up not the ways that just like give you one you wall carry thing so that you can put it in a twitch clip or something right you so know, all just... of that so, so yeah so all of that the dinosaur just said all of that Plus, you create a tutorial that walks the player through how each character operates to a deep level so that they're introduced into the fun early on. Mm -hmm. They're not deterred by online losses. They're not deterred by everything being super difficult. There's a very, very, com uh, there's a very, very simple and, uh, you know, detailed tutorial that teaches you what each character is about so that you can decide which character you want to play. Like, how many, how many um, YouTube videos have you seen where people are like, you know, this is the top five characters to start the game with. Like, the game should be telling you stuff like that. The game should be helping you with who you start with. I'm new, you know, hello, I'm new to fighting games. My brother got me into them. I want to play. Who do I pick? 50 characters. How are you meant to make a decision? It's not fair. So I think that there needs to be more in how you help the players get into the fun of the game. It's not good enough to say, this is fun, play. we want your money. You have to guide them in once they, once they commit to your product. Then you take them through the amazing journey they have ahead of them. And I think all of that that Phil said, but then once they do that and explore all the creative functions of each character, then there needs to be a, a, a kind of a stringent plan of, of, of operation of how, how do we get these players into. And what you do is you basically just completely 100% copy the Virtua Fighter 4 PS2 version format of tutorial. You just put that in Tekken. Everything that's in there, you know, do this operation five times, you know, um, escape the throws two times, you know, like all these different little exercises that you had to do. There's a little timer that helps you. And then there's like a little check thing when you do it right in the X when you, you know, you need all that to teach people, hey, this is cool. This is fun. And it is, it's not just someone lying. Like it's genuinely fun. You do it and you feel good about yourself. Wow, I actually did. I couldn't do it first time, but after a few reps, now I can do it. And this is something that I'm able to do now. Then you move on to the next. And it's outside of just playing game, uh, playing each other. Yeah, man. What are you guys doing, man? Corona, <laughs> lockdown. What are you doing? <laughs> Having offline sessions and that, man. Where's the quarantine things? I think you're nice with your beard, yeah? No, I'm just kidding. So, um, yeah, I, I think... <laughs> 
Um, what's up, Momo? Nice to see you. Um, speaking of Shaheen, Momo walks in, the <laughs> ultimate Momo. So, yeah, no, no doubt he's going to be defeating all the Mishimas with uh, slide mix ups. Um, but, yeah, I do think that the how the, how the players walk through the game, um, because the experts don't need the experts that have played every second, they don't need that. They need the high level creative stuff that Phil talks about. But for the newer players, for the intermediate players as well, you, they need a little bit more of a this is what you should be looking for, you know, because not everyone's a beginner and not everyone's a pro. There's a middle ground where people are like, well, I know my combos. I know my character. I'm, I can do all that online, but I need a bit more. And there needs to be something for those players too, you know? And yeah, I, do, I really, really think that how the game walks you through can solve so many problems. It really, sorry, I've said my bit now. <laughs> and if you're struggling with seconds complexity, tune in to the YouTube channel, The Blasted Salami. The top quality tutorial. <laughs>